Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Dorf Romantique. Now, this is an interesting city-building game. It's based off a, a tile system, as you can see, hexagonal tiles. And we're going to go ahead and start and do the tutorial today. So, uh, very easy, obviously, to move the camera around, WASD. Uh, we can use the key and E keys to rotate, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. So here's the actual game itself. So in Dorf Romantique, you build landscape out of hexagonal tiles. Click on one of the empty tile slots around your world with the left mouse button to place the top tile on your stack. And as you can see here, we when we highlight, we can kind of rotate. Uh, we're starting off that center tile. This one looks like it has some trees and a field in it maybe. So let's just go ahead and plop that right there. Um, so we can rotate things like that. So let's just go ahead and connect the field there. So there we go, we got ourselves a full field and we'll plop some trees there. So we gotta get a forest uh, spanning of at least five tiles. This way you can form groups of elements like forests or villages. Place tiles next to each other and connect their colored edges to form a forest spanning five tiles, connect the light up. All right, so let's put that there. So this should be one, two, three now. And if we put this here, that'll be four. And then last but not least, let's just go ahead and put this one. Ooh, can we do the trees and the village now? Uh, so let's just go ahead and put this one right there. All right, so that gets us a forest of five tiles. The tile counter in the bottom right shows you the amount of tiles in your stack. Once it reaches zero, the session will end. Place three tiles to continue. Okay, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and place one there, one there, and uh, we'll place this one right here. There we go. All right. You gain tiles by fulfilling quest, indicated by the speech bubbles. So you can see there's a speech bubble above this one and one up here. Uh, to complete this quest, add at least five additional houses to the colored edges. All right. So... If we do this, it looks like those are highlighted. So let's, oops, that's spinning quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then we can put some housing here and then rotate that again there. So there we go. We've got all the houses. Here's another quest to complete. Connect exactly two fields to the quest tile. The symbol in the corner of the speech bubble hints to a follow up task. Okay. So let's, um, let's just drop that right there. And that says go ahead and connect it to two fields. So one and then rotate that like that. And then two. Uh, oh no, you added too many fields to the group. Try another. Uh, but that was two field. Maybe, oh, because that would be one, two, three. So it wants two fields total. I see what it means. All right, so let's go ahead and there's two. Uh, we don't want to use this one. Don't want to use this one. And we'll just put this here, I guess. Here we go. Here's one. So we put that here and that'll give us three fields. I see what it means. So you actually have to count the fields on the tile too, not just the tile itself. Completing this quest spawned a flag, which indicates its group can be closed to gain extra points and tiles. This field group is closed when it cannot be expanded anymore. Hover over a flag to highlight the remaining open edges and place tiles there. So if we highlight that, so you can see there's um, two, three, four, four tiles we'll need to uh, close up here. So we uh, let's go ahead and make sure that's not touching there. We can place that there and here. And then when we go highlight it, now it's just these two tiles. So that would connect. So we got to rotate that away. And then this should close the group. Fantastic. Train tracks and river tiles have placement restriction. Their ends cannot lead into different types of tiles. Invalid spots are marked with a red cross. You can see that red cross right here uh, to help uh, visualize during the tutorial. So let's just go ahead and put our train track here and we'll put the river, uh, we'll put the river here. So, and now we got a tile with both. We can, yeah, we'll connect our train track like that. Every time you place a tile, you gain points according to how well it fits to its neighboring tile. Collect 200 points to complete the tutorial. Okay, so we will drop our train track there. And we got quite a bit of field to connect. So let's go ahead and connect that field there. Another river chunk. Ooh, that has some field to it. So we'll place that guy there. 
We've got some city and forest. Um, right there looks pretty good. So if we added two tiles to that, we'd get some extra. Let's go ahead and put, can we rotate that like that? There we go. Some train tracks there. And we're at 90 points. All right, so we are just chugging right along. Let's go ahead and add a field block here. And we can add another field block here and connect all that. And that puts us at 130. So this tile has a little bit of forest and some fields on it. So let's go ahead and put that there. And that's going to put us at 150, almost to the 200 we need. So we'll drop our housing there. And that's going to connect all of that. Fantastic. Oop, and we failed that quest because I wasn't paying attention. It's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and can we rotate this? Okay, we can't have that turn. That's okay. And there we go. You have completed the tutorial. Congratulations. You also unlocked your first special tile, the windmill. It might show up in your tile stack in your next session. Well, that is an interesting game. I, I, I liked it so far, the Dorf Romantique. Definitely going to play a little bit of it. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. Comment on down below what you think. I love the graphics of this game, but let me know what you think of the graphics, what you think of the play style. And if you don't mind subscribing to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content and great content on time in an orderly fashion, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Dorf Romantique video.